and welcome to Easy Gluten Free. Today I'll be showing FaveHealthyRecipes.com how to make this really easy Chipotle Chicken Mac and Cheese. Now this is a lighter version of mac and cheese as well, since I'll be using reduced fat cheddar and milk in the recipe. But this will still have a ton of flavor because of those smoky chipotles. And this is a great recipe to make in the summer, since it's a stovetop version of mac and cheese versus the baked variety so you won't be heating up the whole kitchen. Alright, to make this you're going to need 3 cups of milk. I used 2% milk. You could use whole milk if you're not watching your weight or skim milk to lower the calories even more. 2 tablespoons of butter, 1 half teaspoon of salt, an eighth of a teaspoon of pepper, a cornstarch slurry which I made by mixing together 2 tablespoons of cornstarch with 2 tablespoons of cold water until smooth, 1 cup of grated cheddar, which by weight was 4 ounces, and you'll want to get an extra sharp variety with more flavor since we're not using a ton of cheese in the recipe. 2 ounces of American cheese to give the sauce a smoother, creamier texture, 3 chipotle peppers which you've finely diced, 1 tablespoon of adobo sauce, which you can feel free to omit for a milder dish, 12 ounces of gluten-free elbow macaroni. If you're not on a gluten-free diet, just use regular elbows. Either way, cook them in salted boiling water for two minutes shy of the package instructions. Then drain them and toss them with a little olive oil to keep them from sticking together. And you'll also need three cups of cooked diced chicken. If you have leftover chicken, that'll work. But I rubbed down two large boneless skinless chicken breasts with some olive oil, salt, pepper, and chili powder, then roasted them at 350 degrees for half an hour. When they were done, I just diced them up. Alright, now to make this, in a large shallow pan over a medium heat, add the milk, butter, salt, and pepper, and bring it up to a boil. Just as it starts to boil, add the cornstarch slurry and stir it as it simmers for about a minute. Then add the American and cheddar cheeses and stir it until they melt. Add the diced chipotles and adobo sauce, then add the elbows and stir to combine. Now add the chicken and continue stirring until the chicken is heated through. Sprinkle on a little paprika or cayenne pepper if you want and then it's ready to serve. It's really hard to find a dish of comfort food that's this easy to make. And if you're more of a fan of baked mac and cheese, then by all means you can pour the whole thing into a greased casserole dish, sprinkle on more cheese or some buttered breadcrumbs, make sure they're gluten free, and stick the whole thing under the broiler for a few minutes. However you want to make it, I hope you're going to give it a try. And if you'd like to see the recipe in print, you could always visit my blog. And for additional recipes and tips to fit in with your healthy lifestyle, visit my friends at FaveHealthyRecipes.com. See you again soon.